All right, so this is going to be our advanced workout using the landmine. We have a beginner version out, so check that out if you haven't seen it yet. It provides kind of a good introduction to this tool. So uh, this is a really cool dynamic tool you can use. In the beginner video, we cover some of the basics. This is going to be a little more advanced. It's going to be a really good way to uh, really up your calorie burn and get a lot of plyometrics involved and core activation. So this would be a good way to implement some maybe high-intensity interval training. So I'm going to be using my assistant today to show us this. Uh, we're going to go through just five different exercises. Uh, you probably want to do maybe just two or three rounds of these. We'll start at uh, around like 15 or so uh, reps for each movement. We might play with that a little bit. Uh, so really don't take any set rest in between uh, unless you're just getting too high. We don't want your heart rate to really be above like 85% for sustained periods of time. So uh, once you start like really really not able to keep up just take a couple seconds and then go back in at your pace and then you could keep track of it and try to beat your time on a weekly basis so uh, we're going to start with a movement where uh, this is kind of a row to a press so it's going to involve your whole body we're going to start with this we'll go for about 15 of them all right whenever you're ready perfect That's four, look good. Two more. Very good, two, one more. Nice, killer. All right, so you take a couple deep breaths. Try to lower the heart rate for a second, and then we'll go right on this other side. All right, three, two, one. Beautiful. Six more. So you see how that spine's real neutral. That's exactly how I want to keep it the whole time. You want to make sure to load that glute. That front shin should be vertical, just like that. Last two. And one more. There we go. Good stuff. All right. Take your time. A couple deep breaths. So this next move we're going to go through. Uh, let's try. Let's try our alternating back lunge. Okay. Perfect. Let's get four more each side. So you can see that glute is really loading properly. The weight's not shifting forward or back in any kind of a weird way. Last two each side. Beautiful. One more. Nice. Killer. All right, a couple deep breaths. So this is really tough because uh, you're having to maintain a neutral spine and each time you switch legs, you're fighting a rotational force. So the landmine's really challenging because challenging you're just fighting these, this external force the whole time you're going. Really forces your core to get involved. There we go, 16, 15, nice. Perfect. Easy, that's it, right? Good stuff, killer. All right, nice, deep breaths, deep breaths. So take your time, control that breathing. We're gonna go into, this is a kind of a cross body pivot lunge. It really loads your glutes, really gets your core engaged. Um, yeah, this should be okay, take your time. All right, whenever you feel good, we'll give it a shot. So you're going to reach across the body and use your glutes and your core to kind of initiate that rotation. And you're giving it a big pull. Perfect. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. You really drive off that hip halfway there. So you really, you're internally rotating that back one, get more of a pivot on that trailing leg. There it is. Good stuff. Yeah, check out the feet. Four, let's do three more. Three, two, one. Nice, killer, relax. Perfect. How you feeling? Nice. Yeah, you look good. Let's give you about 20 seconds. So this one's going to be a plyometric. We're going to do a, a jump press. So again, your body is fighting this, this force. Your goal is to keep your hips squared forward. Don't let uh, any kind of rotational force take over and throw you off at all. Okay. all right, whenever you feel good. All right, perfect. So this is just a scissor press. Nice. Try to go continuous. Don't stop. There we go. Just get it over with. <laughs> That's three. You don't even have to go down quite so low. You can stay a little straighter leg. There we go. Good stuff. You don't have to lunge, lunge on this one. And you can. You can always make it tougher. <laughs> but on this one, we can just stay a little more like a scissor. You got it. So it also it actually makes it tougher for your core because your hips can't stabilize you as much. There we go. Okay. Perfect. All right. Good stuff. All right. Deep breath, and we're gonna go into a single leg stiff leg deadlift, and this will be our last one. Look really good. I really like to usually put the core bounce, like challenging one towards the end when you're already a little fatigued. All right. So, all right, you got a couple deep breaths. Maybe you feel good. We'll hit um, 15 of these guys and then we'll be done. Nice. Perfect. So if you have to uh, tap as you come up, that's okay. Tap if you need to, to stay neutral on the spine. Looks good. Is that fine? Couple more, you look good. Tight core. Nice. That it, right? You keeping track? Yeah, two more. Oh man, I'm off. There you go, last one. Nice. Perfect. All right, deep breaths. Last one. So the most important thing on this is to stay neutral in their spine. Your goal is not to let the knee turn in and to keep your hips squared up, but most important is to not let that back around. Perfect. There we go. Awesome. So that was about like eight and a half minutes or so of work. Really tough, good little hit interval. So you could do one more of those. You could do two more if you were feeling crazy. You would definitely want to take uh, at least a minute and a half rest in between there. You could take up to three minutes if you needed to. How you feel? Good. <laughs> nice. Awesome. So uh, that's some of the more advanced stuff. Like I said, if you did not see the beginner video, check that one out first because that's a little bit better introduction. All right, keep on the lookout. We're going to be posting up a little bit more vids of some of these non-traditional uh, workout methods. Thanks.